Hello and welcome to another video from Ride for the PC. Just look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's my Triumph Triple as you can see. I've got a few little bits of custom kit on there. Uh, I've now got some uh, racing tyres on, I've got some uh, the new top header, the Aluminous Kawasaki Green, ionised, uh, new exhaust pipe, uh, a few new braids and a new chain. So we're getting there a little, little bit, bit by a bit. Our horsepower's gone up by about seven, not a huge amount. To, uh, at this stage but doesn't that look beautiful yeah so in the next video we're going to be looking at one of the time attacks and I'm going to be playing this on pro physics uh, difficulty is on medium and um, yeah quite an interesting challenge and this is at a molar and as you can see we're going to be absolutely blasting down here basically I've got to overtake this guy and as you can see at the top um, there is a time remaining for me to get past him uh, overtake him and give myself a distance before the time runs out and yeah absolutely loving this at the minute the more i play it the more i get into it right let's try that again shall we you just gotta get used to this is the first time i've done this track um it seems to be a really fast track hence him absolutely flying past me down here i don't even know what speed we're doing probably over 200 miles an hour um yeah, this is going to be a fantastic track for the superbikes. My God, just getting used to uh, getting in these corners, slowing fast out, as I've said in the other ones. But of course, you need to learn the track and the bike. Whether it handles differently with the new exhaust and the few new bits on it, not too sure. Uh, with the Pro Physics, you can push it a little bit too much. Uh, you can get tank slappers, but uh, nothing that's literally going to knock you off from a tank slapper. It's usually from the back end either slipping out or in my case bashing the mirrors on the side of the track because I like to get literally so close in. So let's bomb down here, try and get this, get some speed and see if we can overtake this guy further down here. Not sure whether that was me cheating. I was trying to get as tight over to the chevrons as possible. Um, but you know, if I'm going to beat this guy, yeah, stick that in your back pipe. We flipping did it. Um, I'm actually, my thoughts on this game are actually getting better and better. As I said, we're still on the first bike here. Um, hopefully, the tracks will be different variants, reverses, and I'm looking really forward to the Wales one, which I think is. Um, out in the sort of industrial and, and uh, houses and things like that to give you that little bit of Isle of Man TT. There's a hint. They've got to bring Isle of Man TT out for DLC. My God, I'd, I'd pay for full price for that. That would be amazing. <laughs> Just seeing here if I could get the. Um, the guy that I'm chasing, his camera. I wanted to know if I could flip it, you know, and have a, like a rear view so you could see what he was looking behind him. It, it, it's a little bit tricky. I couldn't find it. Um, but what you actually have to do is you have to select the rider in front and then use your joystick or whatever you're using uh, to spin the camera around and then you can actually see, um, I was going to say the guy behind, but me behind, and that's me in the Triumph Triple there in the blue. Really cool um, camera angles. Lighting, pretty good, yeah. Just wish the environments had a little bit more life to them. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to be doing some more videos because the more and more I play of it, the more I want to get back on that track. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like. And uh, I'll see you on the next track. Bye-bye.